So, on Kubernetes, the situation right now, what is the situation right now? Is uh, the situation is VNFs and CNFs will coexist for a few years, right? I mean, you cannot have this VNF to CNF transition overnight. Okay, just like every technology, there is an overlapping period. So, what is happening right now is that operators has have already invested into the vnf based cloud infrastructure i mean or i i would say operators have already invested into cloud infrastructure and they are managing uh, their vnfs using openstack right so right now when they will introduce cnfs cnfs will also come on the same cloud infrastructure on which vnf is working okay this is just to save some capex so what will happen you we have we and we, we will call this kind of kubernetes as kubernetes on cloud why because the cloud already exists you see, if you see this line so server already exist hypervisor is there and on hypervisor our vms are already created i mean this vnf is already created now if i want to create cnf so my cnf needs worker nodes right we have already discussed this so those worker nodes will be the VMs created on this infrastructure. I mean, the, the virtual machines will act as the worker nodes. So the CNFs will be uh, uh, managed by Kubernetes. And in parallel, the VNFs will be managed by OpenStack on same cloud. And this is possible. So if you see here, the VNF is my VM2 and VM3, or might be some other group of VMs might be here. Okay, so two, three groups of uh, two, three VMs together will be called as a VNF. Okay, but if I want to create CNF, then I first need worker node. So let's say this is one worker node, which is a VM on this on the same cloud. On that worker node, I will install container engine and on that container engine, I will host my pods and these pods will be managed by Kubernetes. Okay, so this kind of solution will exist right now, wherein the Kubernetes will act as container manager and uh, OpenStack will act as the whole cloud management system. So OpenStack will actually manage this VM here also. This VM is means uh, the, the worker node or the master node uh, for this Kubernetes. Okay, so the underlying infrastructure will still be managed by OpenStack, but once that infrastructure is created, those worker and master nodes are created as VMs, then the pods inside them will be managed by Kubernetes. Okay, so this is like this is like deploying OpenShift on an on an already deployed telco cloud rack. This is like deploying VMware Tanzu on an already existing VMware cloud rack, like this. Okay, so these solutions will exist uh, for for some time. Okay, but going forward, what will happen is that uh, when you do, you won't require VNFs. Okay, so only CNFs will exist. In that case, we will call this Kubernetes on bare metal. Okay, so operators who who have not invested into VNFs, uh, they are directly transforming their networks onto CNFs. So there are some operators which are directly transforming or directly deploying this kind of solution, wherein they don't have any VNF, so they don't have any open stack. They just need Kubernetes because they only have CNFs, okay, pod one, pod two, or other group of pods with their worker nodes. And these worker or master nodes will be your bare metal servers, okay? Bare metal server means these servers here. So the compute servers, which which are your bare metal servers in open stack. Uh, will now be act as uh, will now act as worker nodes and master nodes in this kubernetes on bare metal kind of solution okay so here only you require a container manager you do not require any virtual machine manager or any cloud management system okay so this is like deploying the same open shift on bare metal servers deploying vmware tanzu independently deploying eccd or nokia ncs independently i mean without vnfs okay so the same kubernetes solution can be deployed on bare metal 
and same kubernetes solution can be deployed on cloud the only difference is on cloud when it will be deployed there is an additional layer of uh, virtualization which is which is the uh, virtual machine layer so the vms will act as worker and master node here the bare metal linux servers will directly act as virtual machine or uh, sorry worker or master node 